Hi folks, I'm going to show you how to use Evernote and Evernote Web Clipper. Once you have created a new Evernote account, a free one, you've signed up for one, you go to the evernote.com page and click on the sign in page. I have my password saved so it automatically logged me in, but you might need to log in using your password. When you see my Evernote account, you see I already have saved a number of web pages. But the first step that I want you to do is if you go down to the icon for notebooks and click on that, you'll see that I have multiple notebooks that I use to save things into Evernote. What I want you to do is to click on the little plus sign that says create a notebook. And it asks you to create a notebook. So create this notebook and call it something like Technology Teaching Class. Right? And click to create the notebook. The next thing you do um, is go, if you've been browsing the web and you found an article that you're interested in using, say for example this one, and you want to save it to your Evernote, what you do because you've installed the Evernote Web Clipper, is to click on the little elephant icon, which is the Web Clipper. I'm in Chrome, and so it looks like that in Chrome, but you can also use Safari or Firefox. So I want to save this, so I'm going to say Clip to Evernote. And it puts the title of the article in for me already, because that it takes it from the web page. It also gives me the choice to clip the article as an article, a simplified article, full page, bookmark, or screenshot. I want to save the whole article, and I want to put it into the folder that I just created called Technology Teaching Class. And I'm going to tag this, because a tag gives me keywords to search for um, different articles that are on the same topic. So I'm going to tag this as copyright, and it it's already suggesting that, so copyright. I also want to tag it as fair use because it's also about fair use and I want to tag it about creative comments. So I can add as many tags as I like for this web page but I've chosen those three and I click Save. When I've saved it, it takes a little bit of time and it syncs it and it tells me that it's already done that. I can just X that out. If I go back to my Evernote page, you will see that um, if I refresh this, there is the article that I just clipped using the Evernote Web Clipper into my Technology Teaching Class folder in Evernote. And I, I once it's in my folder, I can read the article right here without even having to go online. If I did want to go back to the article once I found it's in my Evernote, if I click on I for information, that's the URL from which I where I found the article, and I can copy that and go and paste it into the browser at a later date to find the original article online. But because I have it clipped into my Evernote account, um, I already have it, so should the page go down, I still have it to use um, for future reference. That's Evernote with Clipper.